What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today I want to talk to you about I stopped using these bottles of ice to cool down my laser. I no longer need to freeze any bottles of ice. I have a constant supply of ice, so I'm going to show you how I did that. And it's very, very cheap compared to buying a CW5200 water cooler. So stick around and I'll show you how I did it. So for a long, long time now, I used this huge 40 litre container to hold the distilled water. I had about 30 litres of water in here and I would put in these. These are 5 litre bottles and I would freeze them. This one's still frozen, I kept it in the freezer just so I could do this video. I've done about a month's testing with this fairy and it's working really, really well so far for me. I was looking at getting the CW3000 or the 5200. Those are the two main chillers that people use. The 3000 is basically just a fan over a radiator and it cools it down to ambient room temperature. So if you live in a hot climate that's not the best solution because you don't want your laser tube to go above 20 degrees really because then it starts deteriorating with power from my experience anyway. I keep mine between 12 and 15 degrees using this method and it works absolutely amazing. I've done three or four hour runs and it's just kept going and going and going and the temperature hasn't really changed. So instead of spending a fortune on those industrial chillers, I bought this little thing. It's an ice maker and you can get these on Amazon pretty cheap. I got this one for about £89 and I'm not actually using this one, I'll tell you why in a moment. This one will work, it'll be absolutely brilliant. This one stays in my kitchen now for ice when we use when we take drinks and it's just easier for me to pick up like this. This has coolant tubes in the top of it. I'll try and show you on here. I will get a close up for the one that I actually use. These metal tubes up here, these uh these cool right down and it drops some ice. Uh, try and get this fairly heavy into the reservoir down there. And because it drops into that reservoir you can put your water pump in there and pump the water out. So the ice melts and then it just recirculates and keeps going like that. It's brilliant, these run for a long long time, they don't take a lot of energy and it works really well. So I'll get over there, we'll show you pretty much how it works and then uh, I'll get a shot of it dropping off as well. Okay so I flip my camera around now and this is the actual ice machine that I am using. The reason I'm using this one rather than the other one that I showed you at the start of the video is the day I bought the other one and got it delivered and started testing it out the boss where I work part time was having a new kitchen fitted and he was just getting rid of this for free. So I might as well use a bigger one and it works just as well. It's pretty much exactly the same. So as you can see, the temperature is a cool 12 degrees. This is when I would start using my laser because it's starting to drop down now. And if it drops down too low, it's like gets below 10 degrees, then I start getting some misting on the tube and we don't want that. So I let this run and do one, maybe two drops before I start the laser and that stops any kind of condensation from there. These thermometers, if you've not already got one, they're just from Amazon. I'll stick a link down below for you and then you can pick one up and you can monitor the temperature of your water. So in here, as you just heard, these just dropped. Do need to change this water because I let the other water in my big container just sit for too long and my tubes got clogged up with just crap and this has been in here now for about two weeks. I do need to clean it out so it's not too bad considering what it was. This was really really bad and gunked up and there was loads of stuff in my tube so change your water regularly guys because it does make a difference. I was monitoring my temperature using this thing which is reading just below 10 which the other meter is reading 11 and a half now. So, like I say, these just drop into the water here, they melt, and then get sucked back up into the ice machine, which is currently freezing the next batch. So, let's say them tubes at the back, they get really, really cold, they're covering ice, and it makes your ice, and then it just drops out, scoops it out, drops it into there, and then I have my water pump in there, just circulating the water. So that's circulating through the tube back into there and it works really really well. 
I did replace my water pump because the old one was just noisy and it was a little bit big to fit in here so that might be something that you need to look at yourselves so uh, yeah I'll let this run and then I'll get you a video of the ice coming out because it's kind of cool how it drops it and yeah pretty fun all right so this is what happens it reheats through this pipe and it cracks the inside of these domes and they all just fall out and then the little scoop and just come and scoop it off into the front usually you'd have a tray in here to catch the ice but I just take that out so it can just fall back into the water and remelt and there we go the cycle just starts again so there's a little bucket inside here that you can't really see I think you can see a little bit in there that just fills up with water and then the coolant runs through the metal pipes and freezes it and then it just drops into there melts and recirculates and the, the, the cycle just continues as long as the machine's on this particular machine has these settings these lights aren't actually flashing it's just the way the camera's capturing it so you got your power button this arrow selects the size of your ice cubes I just keep it on the middle and that drops every five or six minutes and it, it just works really really well like I say you can pick up one of the cheaper ones it doesn't have these sizes on and they do still drop every five minutes for it's basically just the medium ones uh, for 89 pounds whereas the other chillers are between 300 and a thousand which makes a big difference so to test this out I'm running this pumpkin mandala file it's five layers it's probably going to take about an hour in total I'm about halfway through now so it's been running for around half an hour and it's purely cutting no engraving so it it does generate more heat and uh, temperature dial 12.1 degrees so it stays steady at that 12 degrees roughly uh, by the time this is finished it's probably going to be another drop of ice and that's going to bring the temperature back down again so it does stay between 12 and 15 degrees all the time now, as you can see there's quite a lot of cutting and quite a lot of detail in this each layer takes about 20 minutes so it's not like I'm going gently and giving it a rest between them I'm doing one layer right after the other like this is halfway through the third layer now so uh, we'll check the temperature again after the whole thing's finished and we'll see what it's at okay so we're about an hour in and this is probably one of the most intense layers to do the next one's not too bad this is layer number four and uh, it got to 15 degrees it's just dropped some more ice and it's going below 15 degrees now as you can see it drops quite quickly once the ice goes in there this is probably going to go back down to around 13 degrees and then the next layer is not so bad so it should be okay on there all right guys so that's this file cut out it actually took close to two hours to get this cut out the two middle layers were really really detailed and it took around 45 minutes each to get them done and i'm happy to say that it did turn out really well keeping an eye on the temperature it maxed out at about 16 degrees and then I, I just dropped some ice straight away after that dropped back down to 13 degrees once it dropped the ice and then settled around 15 degrees once it had finished the final layer if you want to check out this cut i did record cutting it out as i did with my other mandalas it was a free file i'll put all the information for that in the video for that which will be later on today so if you want to subscribe so you don't miss that then just do that and uh, I'll be happy like I say <sighs> quite heavy because it has got a compressor built in these are really good absolutely amazing little bit of kit uh, this one stays downstairs in my kitchen for ice for drinks and they're brilliant for that so if you do need some ice at a party it can double for that too I would clean it out first so I will stick a link to these down below and the digital thermometers as well where to get those from um, I got both of these from Amazon so obviously I'm going to use an Amazon affiliate link it does give me a little bit of a kickback doesn't cost you any extra for when you're buying the files it just really helps out the channel it helps me buying new products and things to test for you guys and to find out what works and what doesn't so if you really want to help the channel grow, that's probably the best way you can help the channel grow. And if you subscribe, that does help the channel grow even more. Hit a like on this video if it did help you out, if you found the information useful. If you have tested this theory yourself, let me know your results down below. I'm really intrigued to find out if it has worked for other people. 
So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.